G'day guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to root your Sony Xperia Z3 or Z3 Compact uh, without unlocking the bootloader, which is a huge plus because if you are into this development stuff, or not development, like custom ROMs and flashing terminals, uh, you'll need an unlock bootloader. But, uh, sorry, like, you would want root, but you'd have to unlock the bootloader. But that would end up losing your DRM keys, which is important for like camera functionality. It's a uh, just better, but I took the leap before and I didn't back them up, so I'm a bit peeved, but this is amazing stuff, so I'll show you how it works anyway, because um, since my bootloader is unlocked, I can do a few more things than those with the locked bootloader, but nevertheless, um, I'll show you guys how it's done. So right now, this works on the latest firmware as well, and I think across all models, maybe not the dual sim model, but um, check on the XDA thread just behind here uh, for more information. But to do this, we'll just get started right away. So get on your phone and go into your settings and scroll all the way down to about phone and you wanna enable developer options. Just tap on the build number seven times. And as you can see, my build number is 230A2.93, which is essentially the latest one. Um, so uh, now go to your developer options. Now make sure it's on up here and enable USB debugging. Now for driver installation, you know, I don't think you need to install any as a Windows should install its own, uh, especially for ADB, but if it uses fast boot or flash mode, you'll definitely need drivers. So I think you should be able to plug it in and you'll, uh, it should be able to detect your phone immediately. And you also need to allow mock locations like that. All right, so once you have those enabled, uh, we can go to the XDA thread. So I did actually personally test this with the developer. Uh, so, and yeah, I did help him to get it working a bit. So just hit scroll down a little and click on the blue download version 2 link. And that should be, well, oh, that's very quick. So only five megabytes. And this cool thing, you can just extract it anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna open up a folder for it to pop itself into. It'll just be in my downloads anyway. So we'll just wait for that to finish, which is, will be a couple seconds. And once it has finished, now, right click and just extract it to wherever you like. There should be two files in there, folder and install. And all you need to do is plug in your device into your computer, like so. Uh, I would prefer if you have it unlocked on the screen here so I can actually show you guys um, another thing that you need to watch out for. So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and close this. All right, so all you need to do now is run the install app, or install.bat, just double click it and it should start working immediately. So we'll give this a couple seconds to send its files over and to install the exploit. So that's a couple seconds and we'll just leave this to do its magic. So I would wait around two minutes or a bit more until your phone restarts or it hangs it so you can't pull down the notification shade like that. So just wait till it does, it, does its magic and hopefully it reboots. Uh, but if not, you can try restarting your phone and trying the whole process again. So uh, we'll just wait for this to do something. Alrighty, so my phone has restarted and we'll just wait for it to boot back up a little bit. So you would press any key to continue when your phone has finished booting and that way it will tell if it's uh, rooted or not or ha has been rooted. So... Okay. Yeah, there we are. So we have SuperSU installed, uh, okay like that and it should work and now it works so now if we press ok or like press anything uh, it should actually um, look for the root files on our phone and it should say something but I think this is proof enough that we have root access pretty much um, that's all I gotta say so thank you for watching and uh, be sure to thank the developer behind this uh, there are a couple people behind all this, so it's pretty cool actually. And you can actually flash a recovery right from the, like, with root. So hit over this link within the post. I'll put it down in the more info. Um, so you can actually root it. And here we are, a super user request. Let's grant that. And it does, it has finished. So press enter to close and key. And now you have a rooted Xperia Z3 without unlocking the bootloader. So unfortunately, I can't show you how to back up the um, TA partition where the DRM keys are stored. We can also, we can definitely head over to this link and I'll show you step by step how to get rid of it. Oh, sorry, how to save it. Um, 
So there's even a video here. And I think there was even a, an application for this. But yeah, here is where you wanna, you definitely wanna back up your DRM keys before you do anything else. But then after that, you can unlock the bootloader uh, because you always have your DRM keys to put back on your device. So read through this and also read through the Gee, gee fruit um, and that's it guys uh, thank you for watching and that was a pretty pretty sweet uh, rooting uh, method uh, so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video